guys uh, welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can make this model so as you can see here we have uh, you know a model uh, extrude that is created in different different planes so let us start doing this and i will show you how we can do so i'll just go to new file and keep it as it is and i'll click ok so i'm going to select any one of the plane so go to sketch environment on this plane so i'll click ok so now I'm going to draw a simple uh, sketch here. So now as you can see, and I'm going to draw a line as well here. Trim this extra portion. So these are the two extra portions that I'm going to trim. So now I am just wanted to give constraints. So press C. So here is equal length. So these two should be in equal length and these two should be in equal length. And as well as uh, these two also should be in equal length and close this. So let me go to again on uh, geometric constraints and horizontal alignment. So this center point should lie on this uh, point as well. And then the same thing that this point should lie on this line okay, sorry guys control z so press c and this should be in vertical alignment so this center point and this should be in uh, in vertical alignment so now i will just give the dimensions so this dimension will be 80 mm since this is 80 mm and uh, this will also become 80 and now we have this dimension so this dimension let us give it as a 20 mm so when you give 20 mm so this will also become 20 mm because these two are equal in length so that's all uh, as you can see here our uh, sketch is fully constrained so now what we can do is we'll just finish the sketch and i wanted to create an extrude here so go to extrude and keep it as a you know symmetric value and i'll just select this sketch now and here it should be 2.5 mm so it means that overall uh, you know uh, the extrude will be 5 mm so let's click ok so one side we have done this uh, you know model guys so now let us go to another side so what i will do is i'll just go to sketch and on this plane i'm going to insert the sketch and now uh, what i will do is i'll just create an uh, same profile so whatever we have discussed uh, in the last sketch so this is my profile ok let's trim this okay now uh, let me go to line and uh, make these two lines and trim this so these two are the extra lines so we can just trim that and go to equal uh, you know commas geometric constraint with the equal length so these two should be equal length these two should be equal length and these two should be equal in length and also go to geometric constraints so vertical alignment so this center point should be aligned with sketch origin and as well as this point should also horizontally aligned with sketch origin okay now let me give some dimensions so this is 80 mm and this is 20 mm okay now everything is done so we can just hit finish so now uh, what we can do is we'll just uh, execute the extrude so for this and it should be symmetric value of 2.5 okay so now as you can see uh, we are done with uh, there are two you know part bodies so we have to go for sketcher environment on this plane and i'll just click okay and on this plane uh, i'm just going to you know project whatever the curves we have here so go to project curve and select this face so as soon as you select that face now you can see all these lines are extracted and projected on this plane so that's all so we can just finish this sketch so once this is finished so we'll just go to sketch environment on this plane now and now what we can do is uh, we just need to create a line here so this is the one line and here as well there is one more line so there is a constraint here just remove this 
so i'll just going to make it as a constraint so vertical alignment so this point should be at sketch origin okay and the same thing it should be horizontally aligned with sketch origin okay so now i want to draw an arc here so let me go to three point arc it should start from this point sketch line and also here click okay so this side is already con i know uh, tangents so i will just give a tangency over here okay so now what i want to do is i want to make this uh, point should lie on this along this line so go to geometric constraints hit uh, you know vertical alignment and this point should be vertically aligned with this so now you can see here until this there is a point in the same way uh, once this is aligned so other way uh, this will also be you know on the same plane until this so we can just finish the sketch we don't need any you know dimensions for this just align it properly and uh, give finish the sketch okay now what we can do is we have to build a you know body between these to this so in order to do that i'll just go to surface and select a swept so here is my swept um, curve and uh, let me give this as a uh, guide curve so single curve stop at intersection so this is my guide curve so i'll just finish the sketch <coughs> so now what we have to do is i will just go to extrude and uh, select this sketch okay now it should be in a reverse direction with 30 mm dimension so click okay so now as you can see here we have got this completely so finally we just need to trim this in order to get a proper uh, you know model so here as well in the same way go to extrude and select connected curves so let me select this and this is 30 mm click okay okay so guys uh, now as you can see here uh, we are done with this model so let us go to sketcher and again i'm going to select this sketch now so the same thing i'm going to repeat it on the other side as well okay so go to make corner and then now go to lines so i'm going to draw two lines here go to trim and trim these two as well as we have to trim this and let me go to geometric constraints so equal length so these two should be equal length so these two should be equal length and these two should be equal in length so again go to uh, geometric constraint and vertical alignment so this center point should be aligned with the sketch origin okay in the same way it should be horizontal alignment with this point okay so now let me give the dimensions so this is 80 mm and this is 20 mm click so now let me finish this sketch and now go to extrude and select this sketch it should be symmetric value of 2.5 click okay so we got one more body here so we just need to connect these bodies and uh, then we will be done so i'm going to go to this sketch now and here what i'll do is i'll just extract uh, using a project curve so this face i'm going to select and click okay so as you can see here the you know projected curve is appeared and now what we can do is uh, again the same thing i just need to create an uh, curve here which will you know make an connection between these two and now let me draw a line here and this line as well here and now so make sure that this line and uh, this line should be in vertically aligned and same thing these two should be aligned and also i just wanted to make on a tangency here so within these two and as well as 
these two. Now let me trim the extra portion here. Okay, let me extend this and trim this now. In the same way, I am going to do it for this as well. So extend this curve until the next point and trim this extra portion. Okay, so now let me align this now. So go to geometric constraints. So let me I'll just go to vertical alignment. So this point should be lined with this click. Okay. And now as you can see here, uh, it should be you know aligned with this point as well. So go to geometric constraint point on a curve is also works. So this point should lie on this arc as well. So go to entire assembly and give this. Okay, so now let me finish this and go to swept again. And now I'm going to select this and my guide curve will be this. Okay, so let's finish this. Uh, now we have to make an extrude. So go to extrude and uh, this plane for this sketch. So let me go to value and it should be 30 mm and it should be in the opposite direction. Click OK. So on the same way I am going to do it on this as well. So go to extrude and uh, select these connected curves. So it should be in the opposite direction. Click OK. So finally we are left with only these. So in order to do, do that I am just going to go to sketcher environment on this plane. And now as you can see. So I am going to draw two lines. So this is one line which is an horizontal line and this is one more vertical line. And I am going to make that now. Okay. So now. Uh, First of all, these lines should be on the uh, origin. So, go to vertical align horizontal alignment. So, this point should be lined with this origin. Okay, in the same way, this point should be lined with this. Okay, sorry guys, it should be in uh, vertical alignment. So, these two should be vertically aligned. Okay. And then these two should be coincide each other. Okay. So now let me give a tangency. So these two should be tangent each other. And also this should be tangent to this. Okay. So now as you can see here, uh, we have got this point should be on this line. So go to concentric and let me give vertical alignment okay so yeah that's all so now what we can do is we can just close this and finish the sketch okay in the same way uh, we have to go on any one of the either you can go to this edge or else you can go, go to this edge so we just need a one sketch here which should be you know projected from the this face and click ok finish it so now go to swept and i'm going to select this and my guide curve should be this and now click ok so now we don't want any sketches so i'll just hit ctrl w and i'll just hide all the sketches so now let me extrude this go to extrude and uh, connected curves and it should be in opposite direction with 30 mm click ok same way i'm going to do it on the other side as well so this is the extrude 30 mm okay so now our model is completed guys so if you want you can just uh, unite all the bodies so once you unite you will get a complete entire single body so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys